Ain't no way Victor could have seen that coming. I mean, woo. I know he was just fuming and he just had to keep it together. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing the latest episode of Saints and Sinners. So this episode, Rex is telling Felicia, showing Felicia how she killed Malik. Now she was that messed up that she don't even remember what she did. What the, from alcohol? <laughs> I guess he took one too many blows to the head because, I mean, her hitting him in the head with a bottle shouldn't have killed him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking... That from him hitting his head earlier in that little scuffle with Miles. It was just too much. And I guess that's how he died. But yeah. I don't even know what would make her. Well, I guess the most likely candidate that would be able to help her in such a situation would be Rex. So I guess I can't understand why she would call him to help her. Then Tamara trying to act like she's so concerned showing up at the hospital after Miles got attacked. You know what I'm saying? Josie, Josie shut her straight down. I'm glad Josie had her little words for her and stuff. And you know what I'm saying? It ain't right that Josie was, you know, messing with her man and probably wanted her life and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, But that that's something they're just going to have to hash out. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't going to be friends, they ain't going to be friends. Let that be that. But then, you know, Tamara, she's like, hmm. Maybe Victor did have something to do with this. Go show up to Victor and try to talk to him about it. Like, girl, you ain't even about that life. You think you you don't even know this man like that. You think you gonna come and check him and ask him like he had something to do with Miles being attacked? Like, girl, mind your business. You don't care nothing about that man. You want him to get in jail for life? Like, you, you don't care nothing about him. Just just mind your business, girl. That he's no longer your concern. Why so dirty though? How he did Angela? When that man came and threatened him about running that story and he let Angela get on air and spill it or whatever. <laughs> and they warned her and that old boy tried to run up on her. I was like, <sighs> Angela was like, what? Jamar, you knew you would have never had Paige in this predicament. Oh, she going to get you back. You going to regret that you did that. You know, Angela, at first she was so in love with Jabari. I'm going to try to make him, you know, want me back. But I think that that's the turning point for her. Like, that's the last straw. You going to let the goons come after me? Like, after all that in there for you? Oh, okay. I'm going to show you I ain't want to be played with. So, yeah, Jabari better watch his back. Rex was a busy man this episode from him, you know, trying to get Felicia to help him go after Victor. And then him and this whole Kendrick thing. Hold up now. He really grinded my gears when he showed up to Stacia house and he threatening her. Why he threatening this pregnant lady? Oh, Rex, old gangster pulling up on a pregnant lady to myself, telling her what she better do and stuff. And to myself, yeah, you know what I do. You know what I do. Like, dude. Hey, okay, okay, okay. I know she's trying to pin this baby on Kendrick, but I mean. Let's not make it seem like Kendrick is rolling in dough and like she using him for some type of money and stuff. If anything, Kendrick is getting off good being attached to Stacia. She the one with all the money, all the coinage. If it wasn't for her, he would be homeless. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand why Rex couldn't just let Kendrick, you know, be happy with Stacia. I mean, technically that's not his biological, you know, that's not Kendrick's biological baby. But, I mean... Hey, the baby wouldn't have a biological baby, um, biological father to help raise him anyway, so might as well be Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he didn't mind his business. But, of course, he had a motive for coming and stressing Stacia out like that. He could have sent that, sent that lady into an early miscarriage or something, you know what I'm saying? It freaking grind my gears, and out of everything that Stacia does... For everybody in that town cleaning up their messes and being their lawyer, always on retainer and stuff. For him to attack her like that and threaten her and try to force her to tell Kendrick what was going on, that was wrong. That was, to me, it was wrong. You know what I'm saying? He had to come at her like that. He could have been a little bit more supportive been like, okay, I understand your situation. Let's try to break it down and um, I'll support you in giving this information 
to Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? He had to come at her like that. Poor Kendrick. He try, he's trying to be a good man. You know, he's trying to make an honest woman out of her. Trying to buy that rock that he couldn't he couldn't afford. And his sister so willingly trying to help. And he telling her, you know, getting money like that is always going to be strings attached. And she's looking like, hmm, strings attached? Like, she didn't think about that. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, Christy is just so silly. Christy up here tracking down folks, parents or whatever, the parent of the girl who, um, who died that she saw or whatever, and s talking about some sorry for your loss, and the lady telling her, like, my daughter's not dead, she's missing, like, in what world would you think that that would be okay just to show up to some random person's mother, giving them the condolences, like, what the heck? Like, you, you don't just go up to people that you don't know and she going to the um, police station and trying to t talk to the police officer and following him to wreck spot up there making noise and stuff while she's trying to spy. <sighs> I just, I got no words for Christy. Like, girl, what did you do with? Like, get it together. Get with Levi or somebody. And, like, talk this thing through. Get a plan together, girl, because you just trying to wing stuff ain't working. I mean, I just don't understand her. Like, even when at the baby shower, she's sitting up there. She done invited Tamara because Tam Tamara and Stacia's um, supposed to be cool. And she up there, you know, while she's talking to Tamara, like, yeah, I'm glad you're here, da 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 Go and try to casually bring Miles into the conversation. Like, yeah, Miles, it's, it's a shame what's going on with him. Trying to, like, try to kick with her after you don't slept with her ex-husband while, while they were together. Girl, bye. I would have been about ready to push her in the pool. She was really trying it. I'm telling you, you girl, she ain't got them all. She ain't got them all. She must have been dropped on her head as a baby. Oh, man. Felicia is back. Everybody going to wish that she stayed up in rehab because she ready to wreak some havoc on some folks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. But she showed up to that day baby shower and she spilled the tea. I was like, OMG, she know she wrong, she know she wrong. Then she sat there and had nerd to be eating the cake. Oh, I would have been trying to smash that cake on her face. Oh, Lord. <laughs> OMG. And then, you know, let's talk about Felicia dropping the bomb at the baby shower that, you know, that's Malik's baby that Stacia carrying and everything. And how Tamara went home. Tearing up the wedding dress, breaking up her mirror and everything. Like, oh, my perfect man, he's a cheater just like all the other men. Let me tell my own stuff. Like, sis, that don't even make no sense. Like, girl, just count your losses. You know what I'm saying? I bet you she could have dug Malik up out the grave and beat him down to the ground. She probably would have. You know what I'm saying? But she just, she just should have just let that go. Like, she was out here looking stupid, you know? Speaking of Felicia, her and Rex together, they're going to be something. They're going to be a sight to see. They're going to be something for Victor. Oh, Lord. See them sit up there talking about they was married and everything. And pulling out the marriage certificate. I said, oh. And in my head, I'm like, ooh, LMA, you got to do something about Rex, man. Oh, man. Like, girl, he, done, he testing you. First, he, he said he had your mama. I mean, Technically, your sister. And now, yo, yo, long lost sister. He ain't never he, He's just mastering your sisters. I think mean, he's a smack girl. Uh uh. See, Rex done crossed the line. He done, cl he done crossed the line. Ugh. Just in her face with it, too. Just like, yeah, Ella May. Oh, no, girl. You got to give it to him. You got to you gotta come back, LMA. You got to come back. You got to come back. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if she do something about that because that's just straight disrespectful. And while she doing that, she need to go check on her daughter. Like, Christy's so dang stupid. Why are you still going up to the freaking clinic and you doing these freaking surgeries and you, you don't want to do it? You think you're just going to show up one day and they're going to have a change of heart and be like, Okay, so Christy doesn't want to perform this surgery anymore. So maybe we should just stop selling people's um, organs because it's really bad, bad. And maybe we should just like turn ourselves in and send these poor go girls home back to their families. No, idiot. What? I mean, she got freaking gangsters and stuff in her family. Why she ain't tell nobody what was going on so they could help her out or something? She just up here trying to handle stuff on her own. Keep getting guns pulled out on her. Keep 
getting people putting hands on her. Like, girl, I'm telling you, she she's not bright. She needs some help. Mr. Victor think he the smartest cookie, huh? When Rex and Felicia walked up in that joint, and Felicia said that, you know, her termination was invalid because Malik was having an improper affair with a subordinate, and so she back on the board, and she done gave half her shares to, uh, to Rex. I'm like, ain't no way Victor could have seen that coming. I mean, woo! I know he was just fuming, and he just had to keep it together. Yeah, guys, so... Things are really about to start heating up. Huh. I think we just only done seen a little taste thus far. But now that Felicia and Rex done linked up, it's going to be some hell to pay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they got in store. Guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to thumbs up and drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this latest episode. And I'll see you guys again next week. Don't forget to subscribe. And when you do, hit that notification bell and click all so that you'll always be notified whenever I make an upload. All right, you guys. Well, I'll see you later. Bye.